Hey, good morning. It's Mark here with another morning rant. You won't believe what time it is. 6.51. That I sleep in a little bit. <laughs> um, let's get into Joe Biden's approval rating. All right, that's what we're going to talk about today. Joe Biden's approval rating. Um, went to Gallup, Gallup News polling to look at some numbers. Here we go. All right. We got Joe Biden here at 49%. This is from August 2nd to the 17th. So it's kind of late. I'm, I'm not sure if they've done another poll in the last two weeks or so, but as far as from August, uh, I'm sorry, this is August 2nd to the 17th. So it's been like a month now, or close to a, like three weeks um, since the last polling. So uh, right now we got him at 49%. Latest job approval rating, 49%. His lowest job approval rating is 49%. His highest was 57 and his average to date is 54. Um, looking at presidents, from previous administrations around the same time you look at right here average u.s president at this time between 1938 and 1921 uh, was 53 percent that's the average uh average of elected presidents in the third quarter no idea what that means but they got it at 60 whatever and then they got presidents from 1953 up until uh, 2017 presidents average or presidents polling numbers at that time at Joe Biden's time during the same period and uh, you got Trump at 36 Obama at 53 Bush uh, one, uh, 2 at 56 Bill Clinton at 44 H.W. Bush at 69 Ronald Reagan at 60 Carter at 63 Nixon at 62 um, Kennedy at 76 and uh, Eisenhower at 74 and <clears throat> we can go through each historical significance of each event that was going on between Eisenhower and Donald Trump that will put you at those numbers. Uh, for instance, Dwight, uh, Dwight Eisenhower, 1953, we were just getting over the Korean War. He is the uh, World War II general, first year in office, first seven months in office. He still had a large following people loved him from what he did for World War II. Kennedy, he was a young guy. Nothing really going on as far as um, did we have the Bay of Pigs yet? This is 61. Not sure if we had the Bay of Pigs yet. But um, young guy, Camelot, Jackie Kennedy, everybody still riding high on this young, fresh guy from uh, New England. So uh, Nixon was still riding high. Car Carter, Nixon hadn't done, this is his first term. This is not his second term where he started to do the, the Watergate scandal. Uh, Carter, you had Nixon, and then you had, not it'll be Jake, um, what was Nixon vice president? Oh my God, I can't remember his name. But you had Nixon who resigned the office. And then you had Gerald Ford. You had Ford who took over and pardoned him. So even though Gerald Ford had to go through, he wasn't involved in the Watergate, uh, the Watergate scandal, but he pardoned Nixon, and you just had that dichotomy. You had that, like, oh, uh, we just need to get over this. And so that's why Jimmy Carter came in and won the White House, and people were still riding high on that because it was like, hey, we got somebody fresh in there. The Watergate scandal is history. Let's focus on the new president. So that's why he was still right high. So you can go and look at each different significant event and say, okay, where were they at, in terms of events in America at the time that uh, that this poll was taken? Uh, go to Donald Trump. The reason why he's at he's at thirty six percent is because we still had issues of whether or not Russia influenced our election. So and then you got this guy brash, uh, you know, grabbing people by the crotch and all this other stuff. And just, just terrible, terrible in the first seven months of his presidency. I'm like, oh, crap, we got four more, three more years of this crap. So it's a lot that you can put inside each significant event 
uh, as to why a president is where he's at. So back to uh, Biden being at 49, 49%. Uh, it, well, before I get to that 49%, this right here, no, not here. It's here. This right here, you should not take into account. Um, when you talk about Republicans and Democrats, naturally, naturally, Republicans are not going to like the president if he's a Democrat. Democrats are not going to like the, uh, the the president if he's a Republican. So that's why these numbers are skewed. You got Republicans approve of Joe Biden um, 7% and 93% approval for Democrats. When you break it down by party, of course, of course. So that polling skewed. Shouldn't even, shouldn't even listen to that poll. But going back to Joe Biden's 49% approval rating. Let's go, let's, let's, let's look at why he's at 49% when he was at 57% and his average at 54% or whatever. The reason why his approval rating is where it is is because of events. And Yamish Alcindor, I just watched her on Meet the Press this morning and was it her or was it Chuck, Chuck Todd? One of them said that um, a presidents tried to pick their agenda, but it's events that pick their agenda. Um, there was no talk during George H.W.'s run against Al Gore about Al Qaeda, about terrorism. There was no talk about it. And this man was on his farm in Texas, chopping down trees on his ranch. Wasn't even concerned about, you know, Osama bin Laden or anything like that. And then what happened? His whole presidency was, was defined by three events. In eight years, three events. 9-11, Hurricane Katrina, and the financial collapse. He was not planning for that. <laughs> he had not planned for that. Now, go back to Franklin Delano Roosevelt. His, he knew what he was getting into with the Great Depression. He, not really sure if he foresaw getting into World War II, but you know what I'm saying? Like events are, the president is defined by events. Abraham Lincoln was not planning on going to war. He didn't know that states were going to secede from the Union, but they did and he had to deal with it. His main issue was containing slavery where it was. He also believed in colonization. So, and that's not going to get into that story. But Joe Biden is being defined by the events of the day, not by his agenda, but by, but by his events. And what are the events that are going on right now? You have, um, well, first, uh, let's see. You got COVID, right? You got COVID. I saw... Let's go into my, I think I still got the website up. Oh man, I thought it, crap. I thought I had the website up. Let's see if I can go to my history. Oh no, it was, um, it was on my news break. Man, I had a, um, I had a website up that showed some of the, the breakdown of uh, the breakdown of uh, the numbers as far as who's getting who's getting the COVID who's getting coronavirus who's getting the COVID vaccine and things like that but I I got rid of it oh coronavirus let's see mm. now it's I had it God dang it! I wish I, I wish I kept that page up. But anyway, um, you got coronavirus out there. You got the 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 the, uh, the variant out there, the Delta variant, and I'm hearing of a mu, a mu variant. So the COVID, the original COVID, did not, um, the original COVID did not target kids. It did not target kids. So that's why kids were still able, at a certain age, they were still able to go to school. 
um, and right now my son, my, my six year old is still able to go to school because it's not targeting those, well, yeah, it's not targeting those children. Um, my middle school, my three school, my three kids that are in middle school, they've been out of school now for a week. I want to say a week now. They've been out of school for a week because it's, it's targeting that age group now. Lucky for my children, they just got their second COVID shot. And I think in like another week, they should be, quote unquote, fully vaccinated. But still, with the Delta variant, we may all have to go and get the booster shot. Because the first the first COVID the first COVID vaccine was designed against the first COVID. Uh the first variant of COVID. And that was ninety five percent effective. With a Delta variant, you're still effective, but that ninety five percent has gone down to about eighty six percent. Still effective, but it's gone down because the variant as a as a as a uh, a change in the in the strain of, of coronavirus it mutated so even though the first shot is still effective it is not as effective against the, the delta variant as it is against the, reg, the original coronavirus that's what's going on right now that's why people may need a booster and why is that because some people are afraid to get the shot for whatever reason for whatever whatever your reasons are you are afraid to get the coronavirus uh, vaccine and people are dying 95 percent plus are, are going to the hospital and they've never been vaccinated though so when the when the governor of this uh, uh, state of Alabama said and when Joe Biden said and when all these other experts said that this is a this is a, um, a an epidemic or a pandemic against the unvaccinated it's true because the vaccinated people are, they do get sick they do go to a, into the hospital, but not at the alarming rates of those that are unvaccinated. 93%, 95% plus that are going to the hospital and that are dying have not gotten the vaccine. So we got that issue. People are against a, a mandate from the government, but you got places like the NBA, which is a private company. You got the NFL, which is a private company. You got all these different companies that are saying, hey, you can't, the cruise ships just want a case at the Supreme Court that says that you can, they can make their people be vaccinated if you want to go on a cruise. Uh, airlines, they may come out and say, you're not getting on this plane unless you're vaccinated. So a lot of places are saying that we can do this. Uh, just like we say, no shoes, no shirt, no service. We can say, um, no shoes, no shirt, no shirt, no vaccination, no service. So you got that happening. And the reason why coronavirus, the reason why we've gone back to wearing masks, which I which I do not like wearing masks, but I have no problem wearing a mask if if a store says wear a mask. And as a matter of fact, even if the store didn't say wear a mask, I go in with a mask. Because I'm looking out for me and I'm looking out for my fellow American. And so we do that. Hey, when we go out with the kids, everybody got a mask, everybody good. All right, let's go. All right. So that's why coronavirus is still in the in the in the um in the in the ether. Months before, it was going down because people was getting people were getting vaccinated. And you got mostly the Republican Party that don't want to get vaccinated. You got some in the Democrat Party that don't want to do it. But most GOP supporting Americans do not want to get the vaccine, the vaccine at an alarming rate. So that's why the variant is still out there. That's why we have to go back to wearing masks. What's next on the agenda? The $3.5 trillion uh, infrastructure deal. Uh, Christian Cinema, Joe Manchin, two Democrats don't want to spend 3.5 trillion dollars on getting this infrastructure fixed so it's like what the hell are we doing this can boost the economy it can get people jobs it can fix the freaking you you will not believe some of the roads that we drive on here they're not as bad as places like new orleans because i when, when i go to like where was the worst place i could have ever driven in a car and that would have been new orleans new orleans has some really really bad roads uh, especially leading up to Forest Isle Apartments, Sloop to Forest Isle Apartments in New Orleans, uh, on the uh, the West Bank. 
my first apartment uh, complex. The road leading to the apartments was fucked. Oh my god! It that was a tree that was a, one of those large trees that grew on the side of the road, but the roots had had grown in the street. So the road was real bumpy. Oh, it was terrible. It was terrible. Um, but you got our, our, our railroads that are messed up, our bridges that are falling apart, our streets that are terrible. We can get this fixed. And the reason why America don't want to do it is because it's not profitable. That money is just gone money. It's $3.5 trillion that we'll never get back because the roads are free. The roads are free. Nobody wants to do it. And if a private company do it, they're going to want to make their money back. So what are they going to do? They're going to put toll roads on certain roads. And nobody wants that. Who wants that? Case in point, New Orleans. New Orleans built that bridge across the East and West Bank. And it would pay for itself because they would do a $1 toll. You go across the bridge, it's $1. If you're going from the East to the West, it's free. You're going from the West to the East, it's a dollar. That was over 20 years ago, over 30 years ago. That bridge has paid for itself three, four times over, and they still got that dollar. They're still taking that dollar from people. And it's become, it's, it's become part of the process. So that's another issue that he's got going on. The, the, the next issue is uh, the hurricane down in New Orleans and the flood in New Jersey and the flooding in New York. He got to deal with that too. Hopefully, thankfully, it hasn't been as as much of an issue like Katrina was. Thankfully, they have something in place to where now it's let's get the power back on. Let's drain the water from the city. There hasn't been that many deaths reported that I'm aware of. So, so this that's being taken care of. Yes, they got to get the power back on. Yes, the heat index is going large. Uh, it, it has gone large has has increased in that area but for the most part it seems like that's out of the news in terms of taking care of stuff even though it's still in the news and then the, the other thing that he has to deal with is the withdrawal of troops from Afghanistan and the taking of Afghanistan by the Taliban that was bound to happen it was going to happen on his watch Trump's watch Obama's watch Bush's watch it was bound to happen and in just like he said in his speech and I did a, I did a, I did a review of his speech the Af Afghani administration the Af Afghan citizens refused to fight they did not have the will to fight for their country they let the Taliban come back and dictate to them how their country was going to be run it was up to the people the president the president of Afghanistan left when the military when the American military backed out he backed out and this is not a deal that Joe Biden wanted but it's a deal that Joe Biden obviously supported because he didn't want the he didn't want the surge back when he was vice president he wanted that war to be over then but Obama walking on eggshells did not want to destroy his legacy in terms of being the first black president to lose a war but that war was going to be quote unquote lost years ago once we got Osama we could have declared victory and got the hell up out of there so why is Joe Biden at 49% it's not because of his agenda it's because of events that are going on in America right now that's why he's at 49% I think it was uh, Yamish Alcindor I think it was Chuck Todd I think one of, them, one of those guys said it that a president is not dictated by his agenda is dictated by events and these are the events that are going on right now so oh I, did I talk about Texas abortion law I got a gnat that's getting on my nerves um, I'm not sure if I spoke about Texas abortion law but that's another issue and the country is becoming more and more divided not because of Joe Biden but because of the last five six years this this nation is, is becoming more and more divided we're going into our camps and we're staying there we're not trying to listen to the other side uh, we're dismissing the other side and 
some people believe that the election was stolen, just like some people believed in 2016 the election was stolen. So, you know, and then you got, it's, it's a lot going on in this country. And right now, Joe Biden may not be that type of president that can unite the country. And we don't have time for another international incident that can unite the country. Because 9-11 was supposed to unite the country. And it did for about six months. So, uh, that's what's going on in the news. That's why Joe Biden's at a, at a 49% approval rating. Uh, and he has some. He has to fix it. How do Republicans feel about him? Oh, yeah, they're going to come out in masses in 2024. How, how do uh, Democrats feel about it? Well, we're kind of lousy affair about it. It's like, well, shit, here we go. And and I'm still kind of upset with the Biden administration because I don't think nobody has sat down with Ice Cube and talked about his 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 contract with Black America because they promised him after they if they if they won the White House that they would sit down with him and I don't think nobody has I gotta look I gotta look into that but that's what's going on in the news today people there's a lot going on um, that's why Joe Biden's approval rating is at 49% doesn't mean he's doing a bad thing it's just that he has to manage it he has to manage it all right um, today is Monday it's Labor Day I'm off. Um, kids are out of school. So try to have a great Monday. And uh, try to have a great week. All right. Y'all take care. I'm out.